We are going to show our virtual hardware instances using, uh, using Jenkins. Jenkins is a server-based open source framework for building, testing, and deploying software. It can be installed on any, any, any machine. Jenkins web interface allows to easily manage projects and nodes, which corresponds to the machine resources for the project. The demo that we are going to show is available in the ARM examples GitHub repo. Again, you can see the URL at the top of the slide here. We are going to configure our Jenkins server to add an ARM virtual hardware instance as a node to our project. We will show how we can use Jenkins to test the accuracy and performance of a machine learning software for Polestone 300. So we have followed the setup instructions guidelines from the README of the projects. We started the Jenkins server locally and connected to the web interface. The dashboard uh, page here shows the list of projects and the list of nodes where projects can be built. So let's select the TFL MicroSpeech project. This project builds an example software that performs keyword recognition using machine learning. It relies on a TensorFlow light model to detect keywords from an audio input peripheral. Jenkins has already loaded data from previous run. We can check the project status and build history. Success means that the software was built and all tests passed. And unstable means that the software was built but some tests failed. On the right, the test result trends provide more details on how many tests failed at o out of all tests, depending on the build ID. This is a visual way to monitor regressions or inaccuracies in a machine learning model. Jenkins can easily be extended through the use of plugins. For our project, the plugin called Plot helps us visualize insightful data such as software performance. Specifically, the Corstone 300 model on the ARM virtual hardware can provide statistics about the simulated perform the simulated software. Jenkins allows to pass and store this data across builds and plot them thanks to the plugin. This helps uh, monitor performance regressions or can help take informed decisions on the best machine learning model performance. The configure menu gives us more details about the project. You can see the GitHub space for the VHT TFL MicroSpeech project. This configures how the software should be built using CMSS. So we can see that's a similar command than the one we've been showing before on a previous example. And you can see how the software is executed on the Callstone 300 model using a reference audio input. We check the software against expected uh, results, a series of yes, no keywords in a reference audio file. To produce different build results, Jenkins randomly trimmed the input audio to make some tests fail. So this is how the existing data has been generated. Now let's get back to the dashboard to configure an ARM virtual hardware instance as a Jenkins node. Let's select the ARM virtual hardware one and configure. So here 
we have already populated some of the fields. We just need to update the host with the IP of our instance. I have already generated an SSH key pair to connect to the instance. So we can just add it here. So if you select kind SSH username with private key, specify the username on the instance, enter your private key directly, and if necessary, the passphrase. This is how you can add, add the key to Jenkins. So when this is done, I can just select it and save. And now I am ready to launch the agent on the ARM virtual hardware instance. So you can check the status on the log. And after some time, we will see the status of the node being updated. So when the node appears idle, it is ready to build any project. So we are going to enable the TFL micro speech project and click on build now to run a build on the instance. You can see here in the build history that the project started building. So it will take about a minute to build. We can monitor the progress of the build thanks to the status bar. We can check the build outputs by looking at the console logs. So you can see here the different steps to build a project using CMC's build. And when the project has finished building, it will update the test data, so in the test result trends, as well as the performance data in the plots with the results of the execution. All right, there you go. So you can see that. With this run, refresh the page. Okay. We actually had one test that failed out of all six tests. So to scale up using multiple instances of the ARM virtual hardware, we can add a new node for our project. So let's go back to the dashboard, build executor, and click on new node. Here. We are going to add a new instance. And what is really convenient is that we can just copy the configuration of the first ARM virtual hardware instance, click on create. So I've actually uh, uh, configured the instance to use the same, um, the same SSH uh, key than the one before. So the only thing I need to update here is the host IP for the new instance. Click on save. And again, so clicking on launch agent. We can see the Jenkins agent being started. Okay. So now getting back to node, we can see that the second instance is now idle and ready to execute a project. So going back to the project now, we can trigger two successive builds and witness that they are now building in parallel. So this can be very useful to accelerate tests where the software can use different machine learning models, for example, 
Jenkins can then display data about the accuracy of these models and the performance and help determine which model to use in production. 